The reason that people, when people observe this uh, research, they often say, if you have a case that's so different from the base rate from the statistical uh, research that you've conducted, doesn't it make sense then to be able to override the model? And the example they always give, you have some sort of algorithm that predicts whether John will go to the theatre on Friday, and now you know that he has a broken leg. Shouldn't you be able to factor that into your model to determine whether he will in fact go to the theatre this Friday? And the answer is no. And the reason is that we tend to find more broken legs than there really are. And particularly in this type of deep value investing, all of the stocks have what appear to be broken legs. You might be familiar with The Little Book That Beats the Market. It's a book by Joel Greenblatt. He um, took Warren Buffett's exhortation to follow wonderful com to buy wonderful companies at fair prices, and he translated that into a quantitative model that we'll, come, we'll, we'll examine in detail in a moment. But for the moment, you just need to know that it meant high quality, however that's defined, and good value. He had an experiment in the um, in his own firm where he handed out lists of the stocks selected by the formula and he allowed people to either in their own separately managed accounts to either choose the stocks that they wanted or to have him apply the formula automatically. He found that the automatically applied formula did in fact outperform the market over two years and by quite a substantial margin. He also found that when people were allowed to manage the portfolio themselves, they tended to underperform. And the reason is that they cherry-picked out the very best stocks, and they were the stocks that looked the ugliest. So you might say, well, they were not experts. They were people who were relying on his expertise. But then Greenblatt says, we attempted to do the same thing, and he found he had the same outcome. He underperformed his own model. So, that brings us to the golden rule of statistical prediction rules, and that is that simple models outperform experts, but simple models continue to outperform experts even when they have the benefit of the model. When we're thinking about designing a quantitative system, there are several things that we need to be uh, aware of. One of them is that the rules must be simple and they must be concrete. They must be simple so that they're able to be followed and concrete so that they're able to be understood. This is uh, um, a picture of a pipe. This is not, in fact, a pipe. This is a picture of a picture of a pipe. And when we're valuing companies, in many ways, this is sort of what we're doing. We're, we're using some proxy. And there are a variety of different models or proxies that we can select. We can choose the liquidation value. We can look at the franchise value, the growth value, earnings power value, the acquirer's multiple. We can use any, any number of these simple multiples. And, but we're not really getting the truth of the company. And so it's important that we recognize first that there are limitations to the model. 